I'm not, there's a spider trapped in the mirror. I'm not even sure what's going on here. Hello and welcome back to a brand new little episode of Hypercraft Amplified. Today we're back on the server and it looks amazing. I'm the only one on today, which is pretty crazy since uh, this is usually the same time that Azima records, I think. Um, so I've got the whole server to myself. Mwah! I'm gonna take it over. It's all mine. Um, I thought I was sort of creepy down there, but I think that's just my crops. My mouse seems to keep dying at the moment, which is a bit weird. Um, so we're gonna hope and not die. Um, this episode that would be very very bad indeed. But what we have done is my mouse has just stopped working. <laughs> it's so so weird. What a bad start to the episode. But today, what we're going to do is work on our water shop a little bit more. It's over here. Let's see if we can parkour over this. Hell yes. Um, I noticed that I actually placed them in the right place. Also, you might be able to tell that uh, there is an awful lot of nether quartz right there. I'm going to forge this and uh, we're going to see how many stacks we get. So if you want to guess how many uh, nether quartz I get from this, uh, the actual shards rather than the block, um, then be sure to pause the video now and write it in the comments below. But uh, what I'm going to do now is quickly fortune this. We're going to see how much we get and then we're going to get on with our build. So if you ever wondered how much quartz you get from that amount, is this much? I can't do maths very well, so I'll leave you guys to count that in. Leave it in the comments below if you wish. I'm sure maybe I'll put it up on the screen if I can be bothered when I edit this. But you guys may be wondering what this little thing is over here. Now this is obviously a kind of gradient of different blues. Oh, may have fallen in the water there a little bit. But yeah, so it goes from dark to light blue using a variety of blocks. I use the ice with uh, the white um, glass and then the, just the ice by itself. This. This ice makes it just a little bit darker, makes it kind of mix in with this colour a bit better. Um, obviously I've used light blue wool instead of ice back there, and then I've used the dark blue wool, which uh, looks pretty cool, and I really, really love this. I was just playing around with this, I thought, you know, I need to make a gradient of some kind. I was playing around with blocks, did it all in this rather than creative, because why not? I had, had the stuff. And um, you might be wondering where I use this design. Well, I've decided, I've only done one part. But this is kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to make some kind of drinks machine, almost. Now this isn't an automated thing that, that works or anything, but I have called it Symmetry Spring Stillwater. The other side will be sparkling because, you know, obviously that's what you have, I guess. Uh, still and sparkling. I'm sure you have like flavoured waters as well. Could actually, in fact, um, you know, continue this uh, this enterprise and, and, and you know, Maybe do, start doing flavoured waters and things like that in the future. I could do that. In fact, I'm not sure if it will fit in here. The shop isn't exactly the biggest. And uh, yes, yeah, so that is something very, very awesome. So I've used it back there. So it goes from light to dark. And then obviously in the mirror, it will go from light to dark down there. And um, yeah, I've started on the bottom down there. But we will go and have a look. I've used water in the sides like so. Um, and uh, I've basically just done it like that. Um, I've also added a little bit of lighting in there. That hasn't been melting the ice, which I'm pretty lucky about. Um, it did before I added that ice that covers up that little bit there. But if we head down here, you can see my signs that block the water. You can't see it from there because you're not going to be able to go behind the counter, I don't think. And uh, this is what it looks like down here. It's looking very, very awesome indeed. I really, really love it. I need to get myself some bottles of water, a load more of those, and a load more of item frames. And then we should be able to get this thing the ball rolling on this because this is gonna look super exciting also a lot of people told me well one person in the comments I can't remember who but uh, they said that this looks like Yeti eyes or like Wally's eyes or something which I found, found quite amusing um, I didn't really look at them as eyes to be honest um, but yeah I'm gonna work my way on this we're gonna try and get it finished this episode and uh, I'm just really really excited at how it's looking I think it looks pretty cool so here we have it, we've done the ceiling in here. I wanted to keep it quite plain, not too much going on. Kind of tempted that underneath this glass wall behind it or on the kind of ceiling, um, we should put some quartz. Not quite sure how that would work, just so that, because it, it kind of feels like we've done this border here with stairs, but there isn't a border there. I don't want to put a border where those blocks are, those slabs, um, 
because I think that'll look a bit rubbish. Um, but I don't know, I, I kind of think oh, I like this. I need to obviously recreate that down there again, and obviously we need to do the water as well. But we have sparkling now, and uh, still I had to change the names a little bit because obviously the word water didn't fit behind sparkling because it was um, quite, it's quite a long word, Symmetry Springs. So um, that is going to have to change uh, like that, which isn't too bad. I quite like it. I might change it still to something a little bit more fancy maybe. Not quite sure. I wanted to kind of keep it quite simple. And obviously the amazing thing about item frames is that you can do this. Now, the one thing that is kind of sucky is that the uh, the writing doesn't turn around as well. That would be amazing if that happened. Um, you could actually build something completely upside down and everything would be named upside down. But that doesn't quite work. So you can have things upside down, but not quite so uh, we're going to have to just work with that, I guess. Um, and that'll look super awesome. We've obviously started putting the item frames down there. But I think I'm going to go down, finish this off, and we should maybe come up with some kind of dispenser idea where people can get a free sample or something. Not quite sure exactly how it's going to work. Kind of thinking I just want to put like a little fridge or something out here that can pop the uh, item out um, as like a free, free sample, I guess, and, and something like that. So we're going to come up with something like that um, in a second once we've built the bit down there. So, of course, when we come hit down here and do the water bottles, we are missing an item. One that we don't actually have in the chest up there. We're missing some more glass. I nearly had enough. I so nearly had enough. Uh, just a few blocks here. So I'm going to have to go back to my kind of makeshift ice tray over there somewhere. And then we should be done here. And I'm super, super excited. So the next thing to do, now this is completely complete I guess um is put a little sign here saying coming soon because we aren't quite ready to open just yet um I'm sure I will do some kind of opening ceremony or something if you have any ideas for that feel free to leave a comment below with that idea but what we need to do now is give out some free samples we need to advertise a little bit because this is kind of in an awkward place well it's a great place for for symmetry springs it is right in the mountain where the water comes from um but uh, from a shop point of view, it's not really in the best place. So we're going to have to go advertise. We have got some item frames. We have got some uh, Symmetry Springs still and Sparkling Water. Um, we'll, we'll give them randomly to people. We'll guess, we'll guess whether or not they like Sparkling or still. I have no idea. Still, personally, is a, is a personal preference of mine. So uh, we've got quite a lot of those. And then we've got one extra of Sparkling. Uh, so I'll go and give those out as well and we'll leave a little sign saying Symmetry Springs coming soon or something like that. So we're going to go around to people's bases, uh, maybe check them out while we're there and uh, give them a little free sample. So I've just left one at Zuljin's base and I thought I would just show you guys what I've written on the sign. That is basically what I've written. I wanted to put the coordinates somewhere. I didn't really want to write a load of books and have the same thing in every book. Um, so a sign works just fine I think. Um, ooh. XP's base looks pretty cool for me, you can see the pool. But I just wanted to show you how amazing this view is here. It's literally awesome. I really, really love it. It's a bit misty. I can't quite see my base. My base is like a ghost almost. You can kind of... I don't even know if you will pick it up in the video. But um, <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's quite funny. Um, but yeah, that's pretty amazing. And we're going to probably head down. I might even do a jump off. I don't quite like using the boat launcher just because it can be a bit bad. So let's quickly uh, do the whole jumperoo and uh, head around and do everyone else's bases as well. So I've just made my way over here to the massive eyeball and uh, I just thought that maybe you guys may not have seen this. I can't remember whether or not I showed it in the last episode. But I thought I would head up here and show you guys a little bit of inside of the eyeball because it just looks pretty cool from the inside. I love the way that you can actually kind of look through the eye, kind of. Um, I'm not sure where the entrance to it is. I guess it's on top of the actual mountain. But anyway, I'm going to head up there and I will probably leave the water up there as well because why not? Waters need eyeballs too. Wait a second. I also need water too. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> oh god. And here we are inside the eyeball. Look at this. I thought I'd show you guys because I know not all of you will have gone over to TFC's channel. But this is Tinfoil Chef's little area. I'm sure you guys can find him. If you go to hermitcraftcore.com and stuff like that, you'll be able to find any of the hermits you want to see the bases of. But this is seriously awesome. He's even got a little window here, which has an amazing view of the... Uh, was it called the crown hall i keep calling it the claw i kind of feel like i need to just keep calling it the claw because it just it's a claw basically <laughs> it's kind of like one of those uh, little claw machines where you get the toys out of and stuff but uh yeah i thought i would just leave it in here i don't know if tfc comes up here too often i know he's planning on building a base in here so i'm looking forward to seeing that but i'll just leave him a little sign and stuff here and uh, i'm sure he'll see it at some point 
So now it's been a couple of hours or so and I went round and uh, you know gave everyone the water and stuff so everyone now pretty much has that. I know I may have missed a couple of people, I don't know where spawn wax is, I'm not quite sure. No actually no I went to some creos and there's a couple of other people, I'm not sure where hypnose is actually. There might be somewhere to find at some point. But uh, I gave it to all the people that I could see around the area so everyone has, has a free sample, even Tango Tech who's online at the moment. I'm sure he's over there somewhere working on his uh, amazing base. So yeah, we now have this set up. So obviously it's coming soon, so I need to work out a few things with that. So we need to sort that out at some point. Probably won't do that this episode or next. Maybe I'll uh, do it in a future episode of some kind. Those squid are dancing like crazy over here. It's pretty awesome because you, if you don't have any squid ink, uh, which is great for dye obviously, then uh, you can just come over here. It's pretty pretty nice. It's like a squid farm. Um, so what I need to do now is tidy up this area. So one thing I need to do is get rid of all these chests, which I'm sure is very, very simple. There are quite a lot of items in there to take all the way back up there again though, so uh, I'll have to spend a few, more, few minutes doing that. But also I'm kind of thinking I want to put some kind of bridge along here. Now I haven't decided whether or not these are staying, I think they're probably going to go or at least move elsewhere. Maybe if I come up with a different shop, I need to take some screenshots of them so I can get a nice replica, obviously, um, again. And these guys are just dying, one after the other, they're queuing up. They're queuing up to die on, on camera, they're just like, yep, yeah, gonna just die here. Make sure you get a good shot of it. Yep, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to put some a bridge over here that's similar to this kind of style. So similar to kind of slip style, he, he uses usually these kind of colours like white and, and like greys and stuff. So I need to come up with some kind of modern bridge along, I think it's going to go along here, diagonal. Which makes it a little bit more difficult, but uh, I kind of think that's going to work quite cool. Maybe just this area up here, maybe actually add a path in that goes around here, around the edge of the water. And then we should come back and it should look a little bit nicer around here. So I started designing a, a bridge. Yeah, this is just embarrassing. I, I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to record this bit because I think it just looks dreadful. I mean, I like the shape of it without all of this. It looks okay. Not quite sure if the white is maybe too much. Maybe I should use different stairs. Um, I wish though there was some kind of like just normal stone stairs or, or uh, not quartz stairs, but stone slab stairs. Uh, these ones that would be amazing uh, because I think that that would look a little bit better I'm not even sure if it might look better just like that I guess could do could do uh, there is also a zombie chasing me he's in the water just chilling I'm um, not quite sure what that would look like nah it doesn't look great does it I don't know I, f I feel like I'm not very good at building this and also this style of bridge is kind of like small little loop should really be made out of wood and quite natural looking and stuff so I am kind of thinking Maybe, you know what, I should go back to my kind of, the, the usual kind of bridge style, the kind of old traditional wooden bridge. Um, and then just kind of, you know, continue the path this way and then turn it into kind of something a little bit neater, like it does here. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm going to play around with some more designs. Uh, kill this guy because he's just annoying the hell out of me. Go away, dude. It's not, it's not cool. Just go take a bath somewhere else. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back when this looks a little bit better, because this looks pretty ugly at the moment. So I'm hoping that this design that I've done now is a little bit less embarrassing. It's still very, very simple, but I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Now, it's actually impossible to walk up these steps in the middle here. Oh, no, wait a second. Did I make it up there? No, <laughs> I think I actually just kind of clipped the edge of these. But it actually is pretty easy to still walk up. You can run up to it and you'll still quite likely walk over the stairs. Uh, you can actually walk quite on the edge of them, so it's quite... It's, it's, not, it's not too hard to walk up there. Look, I'm pretty much nearly even walking up the middle. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know what you think of that, guys. I may or may not change it. Oh, I may or may not have actually broken that uh, long bit of grass as well. But uh, I'm kind of liking this. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool from up here. I'm just chopping down a few birch trees so I can get some saplings. Oh, there is actually a sapling. Awesome. Um, so I can actually decorate this area just around here a little bit, just with the, some more birch. I don't think anyone plans on building back here as such. I know I Jevin is there, but that shouldn't bother him too much if I just pull up some, some more birch trees and a couple of oaks maybe. Uh, just around this area, just to kind of keep it quite, uh, quite covered over. Um, and I think that'll look pretty cool. I've also added some lighting just in the water parts there, and also my kind of classic uh, pumpkin and jungle leaf lighting. That's kind of what I do quite a lot. Also, um, we have an invisible, bo invisible spider. He's in the mirror, but he's not here. He's a fam. He's a fam. A ba backwards vampire. Wait a second. Vampires can't see themselves in the mirror. That's the mirror. 
So I'm... I'm not... There's a spider trapped in the mirror. I'm not even sure what's going on here. I didn't even know he was there. Dude, what are you doing? You're a bit stuck. Well, um... We seem to have a, our first visitor. He's a little bit stuck, though. Um... He, he kind of got the mirror thing wrong, I guess. But uh, either way, he's going to stay down here. And this is kind of what we got going. So I'm going to have to end this episode here. I'm going to take all of my junk that I've left down here and take it back up to my crazy, crazy base up there, which I think looks spectacular at night. That's when that's when it's my favourite kind of kind of thing to look at uh, at spawn. I just I really like. I'm really happy with it. I think I obviously need to work a lot more on it and make it a little bit more special and a little bit more. Um, I don't know. A little bit more detail, I suppose, as well. And uh, we should get something good done with that. So anyway, next episode, I don't really have anything planned. I'm sure I'll figure something out. It'll either be working up there or around the spawn area. Maybe coming up with something different uh, to go with this shop or something like that. So uh, I'll have to add some kind of more lighting, I guess, in here somehow, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. As long as no one goes down there, I think we'll be fine. Um, and that is kind of it. So hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, leave a like. Um, let's see if we can get to... I might be asking for quite a lot here, 600 likes, that might be a bit crazy, but uh, since the last one got 800, so I think I think 600 should be okay. I know that was at the weekend, that, that episode, so less people will probably see this one. And we have a zombie fan. Hello, dude, how are you doing? Zombie. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.